Hello everyone. This is my Tata Safari Daiko 2.2 four wheel drive variant. It's a 2009 model. And in this video, I'm going to explain how I converted my electronic four wheel drive system to a manual one. Okay, in my earlier videos, I had explained how the four wheel drive system in a Tata Safari works. And if you are didn't see that videos, please go through the videos and you can get an idea about how the four, four wheel drive system in a Tata Safari works. And the reason for converting the electronics system to a manual is I go I, I face many issue in the electronic system and I think many of the uh, Tata Safari orders also the Scorpio the Bolero older Boleros which, which came with the four wheel drive system has an electronic system and it was not a much good system because in rainy season or any water splash causes the four wheel drive system not to work properly and i had faced many issues and after a, a big research and uh, i had found a good workshop in my hometown uh, who converts those electronic system into a manual system and i had uh, just recently visited the workshop and i converted my system uh, manual system converter i had converted those electronic system to a manual system and okay just i will show you how how it's work and just go inside the vehicle You can see this is uh, actually rotor switch of the vehicle, the factor fitter vehicle, and uh, this will do the job of four into four. And this is electronic switch, electronic shifting device, and I had converted this thing, and this one doesn't work now. I had removed all the wiring, everything, and now I had converted those system to a manual one. See, you can see the lever. Now this lever do does the job of four wheel drive system, and. Uh, for showing that I had removed this gear gear port and you can see the cable inside there actually this cable triggers the pulley which is kept over the gearbox beneath the vehicle okay I will first show underneath the vehicle You can see those white cables going uh, near the transfer case, and these cables come all over the way to this position. Okay, how it works? The working of this uh, shifting is by removing the shifting motor, which is, which is attached to the transfer case, and we had removed the shifting motor, and this one is a shifting motor and we had removed this assembly and instead of the shifting motor we had kept a pulley instead of that and uh, this that pulley is attached by a cable and uh, the cable is connected to this lever by operating this lever the cable will trigger the pulley and it will select the position vehicle Okay, now the vehicle is in 2H position, you can see it's marked over, it's a 2 wheel drive, it's a 4 high and there's a neutral in between 4 high and 4L and the, on the end we will get the 4L, okay. Now the vehicle is in 2H position and I'm shifting to 4H, now the vehicle is in 4H position. Now the vehicle is in 4 inch position. I have moved the vehicle. I feel the grind in the front wheel, and I'm going to shift into 4 low position. I shift it to 4L, and you can see the torque. Yeah, I feel the torque, and it is in 4L position. And back to and in this center position, actually, we are in a neutral position. So, vehicle is in the first gear, and I'm fully released. It's a neutral position. And uh, now I put back into 2H and we will get a click sound once the two for four wheel drive is disengaged and we have to wait for that or we, or we have to uh, simply put some action on this gear to avoid that. 
and once we get the click sound we we'll, we are back to the 2h position okay that's all about it and uh, the total cost it cost me around 7000 for conversion i think it's a worth for doing that job and uh, you, we can do the same thing in safari scorpio older boleros which comes this uh, like dvg warner i think the bog warner or something is the this manufacturer of this system and we can convert all this system and we can convert it into a manual by using this method okay if anyone need to uh, know about this system you can comment on the comment box and i will explain everything i will give the contact details in the description box